Hello, my name is Eugene Choi, and what I want to talk about today is why I choose not to have children. I have fucked hundreds of women throughout my life. At least 300. I stopped counting after 100. And less than 10 of those hundreds of women, I have raw dogged. In other words, I did not use a condom or any contraceptives for that matter. And those times I raw dogged, I was in my early 20s. very horny and sometimes in the moment I would forget the potential consequences of not using a condom and aside from STDs the biggest consequence will be producing a child. I do remember this one girl in particular that I raw dogged. Wanted to play a joke on me and told me that she was pregnant. And my first thought was, fuck. My heart literally sank. And I remember being scared shitless. Because I understand what it takes to raise a child from zero to 18, even though I've never actually experienced it. Because being an observant person, I would observe how others raise their children. And I understand how much energy, resources, dedication, and focus it requires to have a child, let alone many. In the US, I would be legally responsible for my kid all the way until the age of 18. And it costs about, on average, nationwide, 350,000 US dollars to raise a child from zero to 18.
Now, as far as why I don't want a child, although I find babies adorable, kids not so much, that's actually not the reason. To sum it all up, in short, or to put it in a nutshell, I don't want children because I see no upside. I don't see any benefits, at least for my life. But I see a lot of costs, very high costs, financially, emotionally, physically, mentally. Three hundred fifty thousand. US dollars, it's quite a bit of cash. That I could spend buying a Lamborghini Urus Performante if I was feeling courageous. or perhaps invest the money but to spend it on something that yields no return or on something that I think wouldn't enrich my life makes absolutely no fucking sense. Having a child would put me in a very vulnerable position as now I have something I I'm afraid to lose. And not only that, something that can't be replaced and would most likely impact me in a way that I may never recover from. To constantly having to watch your kid every step of the way to make sure that the kid does not die. Make sure the kid doesn't stick a fork in the electric socket. Making sure the child is well nourished, getting all its vitamins, making sure that it's learning how to navigate this world in a healthy manner. And grow up to be a well-functioning, law-abiding citizen. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of focus and energy that you'd have to dedicate to make sure 
that the child is able to live the life that I'd want him to live. And I don't want to deal with any of that. I prefer to have my Lamborghini. Or perhaps invest that money for actual real tangible return. And also bear in mind that although I wouldn't be legally responsible for my child after 18, the child will always be there. If the child for some reason grows up to become a broken adult, I would constantly would have to support him for the rest of my life. And even if, the even if the child did grow up to be successful and self-sufficient and healthy, statistically speaking, the child will most likely not be all that close to me. We'd hang out maybe once or twice a year, if that. And it's likely that the child will only be nice to me to stay on my living trust. My child's interest in me is really my estate and inheriting it once I have passed. So as I said, I see no benefit, no upside in having, my in having a child. All I see are downsides, very high cost, a lot of baggage, so to speak. I honestly don't remember the last time I raw dogged a woman. Let's just say I've been very, very careful and cautious ever since that fucking sick joke. that girl played on me when she said that she was pregnant.
I am so cautious that I even take the extra step to flush the used condom down the toilet and make sure I immediately hop in the shower to wash off any resin of semen that is on me. That's how much I don't want children. Am I open to the possibility that one day I might desire children? Absolutely, anything is possible. But that desire has never come up in all the 32 years of my life. Thank you for watching. Until next time.